The young man is lying like a cheap rug. That much is clear. He can't have anything to do with the murder. When we heard the shot, he was in the custody of Constable Oliver, and I hardly think the two of them are working together. He could be responsible for the bump on the back of my head, and maybe he also stole some things from the buffet. But he's no criminal mastermind. What a pity. I expected more from this interrogation. Lagrand can try his luck with him. The cargo hold also seems to serve as a changing room for the crew. At least for the ones who don't wear white uniforms. A stroke of luck. The lock is open. Hmm. Oil-stained overalls. And here, an old toolbox. It's been through a lot. Hardly any paint, dented, and the lid is held shut by a wire. I'll take it with me. Hmm. Some wrenches, a bit of wire wool, an oily cloth, and here, a screwdriver. I've got the screwdriver. That's all I need. Whoever fired the shot hit the crate. Did the shooter just want to intimidate me? Or maybe he needed the bullet? Can't see anything. If the bullet is still stuck in the wood, it's too deep to reach with my fingers. Maybe I won't get another chance to look around the cargo hold. I must try to find out who was responsible for the shot. A well-used screwdriver from the toolbox. I don't see anything special. This piece of wire held the lid of the toolbox closed. The wire is quite strong, but flexible all the same. A well-used screwdriver from the toolbox. I don't see anything special. Well, I think the bullet is still in the wood. I'm not a weapons specialist, but at first sight I'd say that this bullet looks exactly the same as the one Dr. Gebhardt gave me for Legrand. That would mean that the murderer also fired a shot here in the cargo hold before the murder. But why? Did they just want to make sure the old gun still worked? Or was it something else? And did the bullet really come from the same gun? I can only check that in Legrand's cabin. That takes the biscuit! I noticed that the door was unguarded. I just wanted to make sure that everything was all right. Tell it to Legrand. He's expressly forbidden anyone to speak to the witness before he does. All right. Let's go to Legrand and tell him what happened. You fell asleep and then you left the door unguarded. Well, are we going? Hmm? Uh, no, but don't try it again. Of course not.
has your slingshot back. Really? Thanks. You're welcome, but... You should put Constable Oliver on the list of people who'd better not see it. I... ah... I understand. Don't worry, I'll be careful. Good man. Miss Miller? Yes, Constable? I wanted to ask you something. Lady Westmacott told me that Matt's become a real athlete at his boarding school. That's true. He's full of energy. His teachers try to calm him down with sports. He's very talented and learns new games very quickly. I regret to say that was never one of my strong points. It must be good for his self-confidence. It certainly is. He settled down and he's become something of a leader in his class. A year ago, I'd have never dared to hope that everything would work out so well. I'll be seeing you, Miss Miller. Constable? I don't know what else to ask her at the moment. Hello, Matt. Hi there. Is your slingshot back. Really? Thanks. You're welcome, but you should put Constable Oliver on the I don't worry. Good man. I have to leave again. Sure. The lock isn't especially secure. I should be able to open it with the wire from the cargo hold.
there we go. A lock master and son. Tough to crack. If I wanted to steal the eye, I'd concentrate on getting the three keys. If everything goes according to plan, the first time this monster is opened will be in the museum in Cairo. Fingers crossed. Neatly folded and unused. Legrand hasn't slept since we cast off, nor on the train. Legrand must have taken and developed the photos himself. He even made copies and enlargements. He seems to be prepared for everything, with access to more resources than a normal detective. Another alarm. It was tripped at some point, but there's no way to determine when. <laughs> hmm. Smells like chemicals. Legrand probably developed the photos in here. There are still fragments of the syringe that the inspector broke in the sink. Why is he pushing himself like this? Even if he catches the raven, is it worth ruining his career and his health? Lagrand must have taken them yesterday at the crime scene. Yes, that's how we found her yesterday. I think. I wasn't really myself at the time. Hmm. No, nothing suspicious. Hmm, yes. The bed, the blood spot. The spot on the sheet is much bigger than the one on the mattress. There's blood on the blanket as well. A lot of blood, I'd say. The blanket and the sheet are gone. I guess they're in the medical center. This photo provides an overview of the crime scene. Shot in her sleep. She didn't feel a thing. She went to sleep and never woke up. A rough diagram of the ship. Legrand marked the Baroness's cabin. Seems like he didn't turn up anything else of note. The bullet resembles the one that the doctor removed from the Baroness's corpse. But I can't be certain until I check it under the microscope in Legrand's cabin. There's nothing written on the bottle. I suppose it's some sort of stimulant, legal or not. Legrand has been awake for at least 30 hours straight, maybe more. I shudder to think what kind of side effects this stuff might have. A policeman on a murder investigation should have his wits about him. The risk that he could miss evidence or endanger himself and others is too high. Legrand's file on the raven. Centimeters thick, but totally useless. We're not dealing with the raven. Why can't he see that? Our man is ruthless, a bomber, and quite probably a murderer. This file belongs in a museum. It's history. The inspector should concentrate on the present.
This is the pipe from the cargo hold. Legrand seems to have inspected it for fingerprints. I can still make out the powder. Hmm. No. Nothing to see on the end of the pipe that the attacker held. Either he wore gloves, or he cleaned the pipe. Aha! That's the bullet the doctor removed from the Baroness's corpse. A masterpiece. Forensic teams use kits like these, placing increasing importance on the preservation of evidence. But not in Switzerland yet. It's a small lab used to conduct simple analysis on site. All right, what have we got here? <laughs> 